Hi friends. So uh, in our previous lecture, uh, we discussed uh, definition of reliability, availability, mean time to failure, mean, to, mean time between failure and uh, other related aspects. And of course, we also studied the discrete distributions. That means when the data is discrete in, uh, in, in, in terms of integer numbers, then we have discrete distribution. But um, uh, if we look at the um, scenario in a statistical ecosystem, a um, lot of data are in the continuous domain. Uh, so it is very important to study the continuous uh, distribution. And uh, in this lecture, we'll be discussing uh, the exponential distribution, then the normal distribution, log normal distribution, and Bible distribution. I feel other distribution as and when they, uh, they come for a certain application, we can, uh, we can discuss. But then these four distributions are very important and we have to uh, discuss them because we are talking about uh, risk and reliability modeling. So let us say exponential distribution. It is one of the most simple and most elegant distribution. Okay, and uh, um, its simplicity makes it uh, uh, its application widely uh, in uh, applied domain, especially uh, for industries. Actually, okay, uh, why? Because uh, this distribution uh, there is an assumption the failure rate is constant, and this assumption uh, works for. Uh, you, you would have seen the bottom curve. In the bottom curve, um, we have seen the first is infant mortality period, then useful period, and then last one was aging period. And the useful period is the longest period when uh, when a system is started, we, after initial teething trouble, it sometimes in uh, um, years or maybe tens of years, the plant keep operating and this distribution can be used uh, with uh, maintenance practices in place. And uh, there is a, the, uh, quite credible data can be obtained from the uh, system. It is a single parameter distribution. Lambda is the only parameter for the, this the distribution. And I, as I said, it is called memoryless. Because mem why memoryless? Between instant t and delta t, uh, there is no aging that uh, 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 is captured. So, uh, so uh, it, it is a memoryless distribution. And uh, the expression of um, the probability density function uh, now uh, the probability density function uh, f t for exponential distribution is given by uh, f t is equal to lambda into exponential bracket minus lambda t. The lambda is the uh, failure rate, the parameter of the distribution and t is the mission time for the distribution. So uh, if we study it further, there is a new parameter called cumulative distribution function CDF for exponential. Let us deri uh, derive the capital F t that is the uh, uh, failure domain of this distribution. And if I have to uh, get the cumulative distribution function capital FT for this distribution, I have to integrate the probability density function over 0 to t. And uh, I get here uh, on the second equation, uh, FT is equal to 0 to t lambda exponential minus lambda t. Okay? And then finally, uh, if I get the expression for uh, failure probability, so cumulative distribution function is also called failure probability, is equal to one minus minus uh, one minus exponential minus lambda t. So, and then uh, R t is R t is nothing but one one minus F t. So we have the expression for reliability in these four steps. Uh, that is reliability as a function of time is exponential minus lambda t. Now, there is a uh, very special term in risk analysis. It is called hazard. Uh, hazard. Uh, so, hazard as a function of t is generally defined as PDF of the distribution divided by reliability. So, 
And now I, I have all the terms with me. I have probability density, density function for the uh, exponential distribution. So, and I have got reliability for the exponential distribution. So, I can estimate the hazard rate. So, hazard rate is can be uh, can be given by lambda, and that is constant. So, it is very interesting to note that in exponential distribution, it is the lambda which is called uh, failure rate, is uh, which is constant, is also defines the hazard uh, hazard rate of the uh, component or system. So, we found a very uh, interesting term that uh, hazard rate of a uh, in exponential distribution can be given by lambda. Now, let us say we we had data from on offset power failure. Now, what we are trying to do here is uh, we are we have taken a practical example, okay, uh, on power failure uh, to a industry. Let us say. Okay, and uh, uh, these data were available uh, to us um, from the record. Okay, now what are the data? Let us see power failure data. Okay, so um, uh, this data have been arranged in ascending order. That means um, uh, uh, when we uh, arrange this data in ascending order and uh, rank, we give rank one to uh, this thing. So, you can see um, phi comes on top because it is, um, uh, it, it is the minim, minimal uh, uh, duration. Okay. Um, then we have 198 minute which is coming at the end. So, the data has been arranged and the ranking has been given for the event 5, min, uh, five hours as first, uh, first and then we have 20 events total. Now, if I have to give a median ranking of this particular situation, I have uh, a very well sta uh, standard uh, uh, ranking system where I minus, five, minus 0 0.4 divided by n plus 3 will give me the median rank. Now, my uh, ascending order rank is 1, but the median rank is given as 0 0.03 and finally, uh, when I reach the at the end of the table bottom, I get uh, total uh, 52 uh, as the power failure uh, data, data arrange, ascending order that is uh, 198 comes at the end okay? and then uh, rank for this is 1 to 20 and the last data that is uh, since it is a cumulative uh, prob probability, so uh, they, were, they were added. 0 0.0 in ranking they were added and we got cumulative number as 0 0.96 at the end of the table and that is how the offside power failure data for last 20 years were collected and they were analyzed rank and their median rank was estimated. Now, if I plot this data on a, on a exponential plot. Uh, it is very interesting to know that uh, if I have to check whether my, whether my data is following a particular distribution, then uh, it is uh, you have to pick up that exponential probability graph and plot this data onto the graph. If the graph is uh, data is falling on a straight line, uh, sort of a straight line, then you can assume that that expo uh, uh, that uh, this particular data they are following an exponential distribution or a particular, let's say, uh, if we are having a data and if we feel ki, lo, uh, we have a log paper, log, uh, logarithm probability paper, and if we plot those data the way we have done for exponential distribution here, so if it is a straight line, they are following in a straight line, that means this uh, the data follows that particular distribution. So from this figure, I can say uh, ki this particular uh, uh, this particular uh, data set uh, which we saw in our table is following exponential distribution uh, and if I, and this methodology of probability plotting to assess whether that data is uh, 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 data is following a particular distribution um, th then it is called probability plot method and we will we'll see this uh, thing in, but here 
uh, in our one of these lectures, that is, I think, fourth or fifth lecture, we have done the detailed analysis of uh, regression analysis we have done. So, where we estimate the coefficient of correlation. So, what, what it means is, I will draw a line, okay, through these points. And if I, I have got the uh, slope of the line, I have got the number of data points. So, from there, if the R square, that is coefficient of correlation is 0.9 or above, then this, a particular line is following this distribution. So, uh, as of now, we can note this only. Okay, we have one uh, method wherein we can assess uh, if, uh, what, uh, what data my distribution is following. Okay. Now, let us take the second case. Uh, 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 there is a normal or Gaussian distribution. Gaussian distribution is also called bell-shaped distribution because of uh, it's a it's a shape which uh, which is like this. So here also uh, on y-axis you have frequency of events, you know, and then uh, then on uh, x-axis the number of events. So this frequency plot is converted into a continuous curve, and then uh, the expression and this is basically two parameter distribution. Okay. Uh, uh, the mu and uh, uh, st standard deviation sigma. Okay, so mu is represents mean and standard deviation is uh, sigma. And the uh, probability density function for normal distribution is given by one upon sigma into two pi exponential bracket minus one by two t minus mu upon sigma uh, uh, whole square, and of course. Uh, t varies from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, if I have to estimate a probability density, density from this distribution, it is very complicated. You know, I will have to have all the data in, uh, uh, you know, um, so uh, sigma and a complex calculation and I will have to go for uh, numerical integ integration because ft I have to integrate over a period of time, then only I will get a failure probability. Okay. So, it is the uh, complex for all the data sets actually. So, uh, and of course, for th this particular distribution, the failure probability, which is derived from the uh, probability density function small ft, is nothing but 1 upon sigma into under root 2 pi and integration from minus infinity to t, exponential minus 1 by 2 bracket y minus uh, mu uh, divided by sigma whole square. Uh, here, there is a small correction. Uh, ft means uh, is for the time t. So, mu t minus mu should have been there. So, this 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 need to be uh, read, read as minus 1 by 2 t minus mu upon sigma whole square. And of course, dt because integration has to be done for uh, t terms. So, this we see as a uh, probability density function, uh, failure probability uh, for normal distribution. Okay. Um, so, uh, how to resolve? The procedure is very complicated. So, how to resolve this difficulty uh, of numerical integration? Every time we want something, and we have to go for numerical integration. So, one very uh, very simple method has been developed, uh, which is uh, called a tabular method. You know, where the normal distribution is converted into a standard distribution, and that we'll see over here. So, how uh, we derive a standard uh, distribution from a normal distribution? Simply, we substitute y minus or t minus uh, mu upon sigma uh, is equal to z. The first substitution we do in the distribution. Uh, then uh, we we have uh, dif uh, we are differentiating on both the sides. Okay, so uh, we have uh, dz by sigma into dz by dy is equal to one, and then D, dz by dy uh, is equal to 1 upon sigma. It is uh, just re uh, rearranging it. So, we get an expression. Uh, again, I will say um, it has to be dt is equal to d, uh, d sigma, uh, sigma into dz. Okay? So, so uh, uh, then cumulative probability density function is equal to 1 upon under root 2 pi minus infinity to uh, z because now the integration will go up to z and exponential with replacement we get minus z square upon 2 uh, dz. Okay? And then 
uh, again reorganizing the uh, terms and we have uh, 1 upon 2 pi exponential minus z square upon 2 is equal to phi a new parameter uh, which is function of z okay you saw now if i have to estimate the cumulative distribution probability it is very simple i have to go to the table choose a z value and from that z value i'll get phi z value dz uh, probably all of you can see the normal distribution graph and this will be sort of exercise for you to how to uh, get to the value of uh, uh, z and then uh, uh, you know and then probability value for that particular point so this is a standard normal distribution now um, we have seen that ft is equal to minus uh, infinity to z um, so it is it is a it is a definition of uh, cumulative distribution function or uh, so just for the understanding sake we had this uh, standard normal distribution now on the x axis you have zero the, the mean otherwise uh, uh, you have mean so z values uh, zero then minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so these are the value for z and then here the is the value for ft okay and then standard if i want to go for uh, cumulative distribution function then the it is given like it is uh, finally it approaches 1 so uh, we have both the values so this is the form of standard normal distribution now we, we see that the 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 mathematics has almost gone out of it because of this standardization and in uh, in risk and reliability assessment uh, it is the standard distribution uh, distribution is used more uh, for coming to uh, some probabilities now uh, there is a question uh, where the standard normal distribution is used or where it finds wider applicability it is finding wider applicability where there is a there is a central tendency or there is a bias towards center uh, because bell shaped means there is a bias towards mean okay let's say uh, if i want to uh, if i want to measure the thickness of some uh, some uh, some component and uh, so uh, my measurement will be around the central value because otherwise the component has been made by the dimension but there will be a variation around the mean so that is where the normal distribution are used so uh, in manufacturing in quality control these type of distributions are more used actually okay so uh, we have seen the exponential distribution normal distribution now we see log normal distribution what is log normal distribution when the parameter in question its a logarithm is taken then the distribution becomes normal so it is called log normal distribution okay so this is a very simplistic definition of log normal distribution you have some variable y if log y is a normal distribution shows normal distribution then uh, okay then it is called log normal distribution so the the probability density function for log normal distribution is sigma under root 2 pi t exponential minus 1 by 2 I think there is a bracket missing here okay uh, minus 1 by 2 ln of t minus mu uh, uh, divided by sigma whole square so this is how the log normal distribution is uh, is uh, uh, defined now one interesting thing here is if sigma value is around if sigma value is around 0 0.15 you can see the log normal distribution approaches almost normal distribution okay so uh, then the characteristic when sigma is equal to 0 0.3 0 0.5 how the distribution uh, takes the shape uh, so uh, we, we, can, we can know the uh, spread of this distribution just by looking at the value of sigma but when it sigma is equal to 0 0.5 or even uh, slightly less than 0.3 it is it show exhibits like a normal distribution now where no, normal distribution is used in risk and reliability modeling it is used extensively when data comes from different sources that means data are independent from each other for the similar component the data are coming from independent sources then they are represented by 
the log number distribution and it takes care of um, giving the uh, rather uh, more correct estimates of uh, failures uh, domain or success domain you know so lo log number distribution now third is a viable distribution now viable distribution is i would uh, i would say it uh, almost it is in the race of uh, universal distribution why i am telling you universal distribution because the beta value of this distribution is a very uh, very important parameter uh, and uh, uh, which tells uh, it is called slope parameter or shape parameter and um, so beta value tells whether the data is following an exponential distribution a normal distribution uh, so this one distribution itself will give you idea if you plot on the graph or a viable graph and uh, estimate the uh, beta which is nothing but slope of the line uh, so this is becoming a favorite distribution uh, for many life testing studies and many data collection exercises uh, because here you get an idea of uh, which to which uh, the data tends to match which distribution so of course it is widely used distribution and uh, it has got this flex flexibility to model it close to other distribution uh, so uh, ideally speaking this is a three parameter distribution uh, what are these parameters theta that is a location parameter beta is a slope or shape parameter and alpha is the life characteristic uh, indicate uh, estimate so uh, if i to see the Uh, probability density function for viable distribution it is nothing but beta upon alpha minus uh, theta x is the parameter of the distribution x minus theta alpha minus uh, theta and uh, raised to power b minus 1 exponential uh, then again minus x minus the theta alpha minus theta raised to power beta so uh, one can see here what is the role of role of theta here okay it is a location parameter location parameter from which region of the graph you are going or where the, is the starting point from there the graph so uh, generally the practice is to to omit this parameter so if i make this parameter is equal to 0 uh, then it will become beta upon alpha 1 minus x upon alpha raised to power beta minus 1 exponential minus x upon alpha raised to power beta and uh, that we'll see so so as i mentioned um, if the beta is equal to 1 then the distribution reduces reduces to exponential distribution okay and similarly when beta is 3 between 3 and 4 the viable distribution ex exhibit the property of normal distribution okay so let us see how you can see here um, alpha beta they have been shown here alpha and beta have been shown here the pdf of viable distribution is uh, now uh, pdf is fx and x is the uh, random variable it is having uh, and then the graphical representation of viable distribution here uh, beta value 1 you can see here what we said just now beta value is equal to 1 and it, it uh, exponential distribution is exhibited beta value 3 beta value 3 it is a it is taking shape of normal distribution and if you ask me if beta value is equal to 2 it sort of behaves like a log normal distribution but we have to further confirm it so the beauty of this uh, distribution is it can uh, if the data is plotted on a viable plot and a analysis is done then the, the beta value itself will tell you the where the data belongs to okay now now if you have to estimate the cumulative distribution function of our viable distribution so we have fx is equal to indication of pdf that is fx dx okay um, so uh, we have removed the theta value for simplicity so as i discussed and now we have the uh, cumulative distribution function cumulative distribution function or fx value probability function is 0 to x beta upon alpha sum the whole distribution uh, with respect to dx substitute now again here substitution comes so x upon alpha raised to power beta is equal to y so y parameter comes now we differentiate both the sides 
So we see dy is equal to dx 1 upon alpha in this parameter. Rearranging the equation, we get dy term. So here we use dy term in the distribution, okay? And uh, then finally, um, we have cumulative distribution function is uh, is equal to one zero uh, integration zero to y e y e raised to power y dy that is exponential of minus y and integration on both the sides and further we will we will get this uh, fx is equal to one minus e raised to power minus y exponential of y and again we put back the values we get fx is equal to 1 minus exponential um, minus x upon alpha raised to power beta. This is the equation of cumulative distribution function of uh, viable distribution. Okay? And suppose if I make the actually characteristic life is no, normally uh, 0.632, uh, uh, we have estimated like this. If the uh, x is equal to alpha, then alpha alpha and uh, cumulative distribution 1 minus e raised to power minus 1 which is nothing but uh, 1 minus 1 upon e is equal to 1 uh, e value of e is 2.718. So 0 0.632. Hence it can be inferred that the viable distribution uh, alpha represents the life characteristic of the component okay? um, uh, when 63.2 percent of the component under consideration would have failed. This observation is a great significant for understanding and interpreting the information from the Weibull distribution. So you will see on the Weibull graph 0.632 has been marked on the fx that is cumulative distribution or failure probability uh, thing and that is called the characteristic life of the in the Weibull distribution. Now uh, in this lecture, uh, we have seen the continuous distribution, um, exponential, most common distribution, normal distribution, production industries and in our, and log normal distribution is used when the data come from various sources and in risk modeling also it is used, okay. And then viable distribution, most versatile and commonly used distribution in, in life testing experiments. Life testing experiment means the condition in a chamber is simulated for accelerated uh, conditions are simulated by increasing the temperature, um, uh, uh, the humidity or vibration whichever applicable condition is there and then the electronics or whatever components you know, we have mechanical, electrical they are tested and then the, the these tests are done to understand the failure mechanism and failure mode as well as idea about the component life characteristic. Okay, so we uh, end this chapter over here and uh, uh, next chapter we will see further techniques for data analysis and modeling. Thank you. Take care.